Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 Mazda 6 Grand Touring, as well as learn about the features and other configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Mazda 6 is one of the most athletic midsize sedans in its class. It's a blast to drive on twisty roads, thanks to sharp, responsive steering, and great road grip. An available turbocharged engine ups this car's fun factor even more. The 2019 Mazda 6 is a midsize sedan that's available in five trim levels. The base sport is fairly bare in terms of features, but it comes in at a reasonable price. The Touring and Grand Touring have the features most shoppers would want, and the latter includes that more powerful turbocharged engine. For a more premium experience, consider the Grand Touring Reserve or the Signature. Both of those trim levels come with more attractive exterior trimmings, higher quality materials, and even more features. I personally think that the Grand Touring trim strikes the best balance in terms of performance and value. You get this Bose 11 speaker audio system, you get that turbocharged engine. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder, and that's definitely the way to go because it makes the most of Mazda's excellent chassis. So that eliminates the Sport and the Touring models. So, you know, you that the Sport, the Touring, those are nice models. The Grand Touring has a starting price of $29,500, and that gets you into the 2.5 liter turbo engine, and that's where you want to be, and I think it's a good starting point. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Mazda 6 Grand Touring Sedan. Nice looking vehicle. Another nice looking vehicle, which is a direct competitor to this vehicle, is the 2019 Buick Regal Sportback. I did a build and price review on that, and that's a very nice vehicle. Uh, if you're interested in the competitor, the Buick Regal Sportback for 2019, I'm going to go ahead and put a link up in the corner right now. Okay, so let's talk about how this how this build and price review is going to work if you haven't watched any of my videos before. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at these gallery images so we can see the exterior photos and the interior photos for the 2019 Mazda 6. And then we'll go ahead and check out the features. And we'll also check out the specifications so we can learn all the different features like technology features, performance features, safety features, things like that. And then we'll check the specifications. And then we'll be ready to uh, do a build and price on our grand touring trim level configuration okay so with that said let's start looking at some of these photos okay looks like we have about 21 slides here uh, looks like these images are going to have a little description underneath them uh, this one's clearly letting us know that there's Apple CarPlay available for the 2019 Mazda 6 but hey you better have uh, an iPhone and and you know all that they're just letting you know we're not responsible data rates apply blah blah okay so they didn't have any information down here that's fine here's just a nice shot of yeah the 2019 Mazda 6 an overhead view it's attractive I like the vehicle do I like it better than say the the Sportback nah, I don't know um, the brown leather interior the leather seats this is probably the the top tier with the brown leather it looks pretty nice nice shot of the wheels there um, looks like uh, they're showing the air vent. It's nice that they have the detail here in the description of the photo. So the 2019 Mazda 6 air vent, we got there. We needed some help with that, didn't we? Here's uh, uh, the front of it. All right, we get to see the signature grill. It actually looks pretty nice. It's a prominent grill. I definitely say that. Here's another shot of the 2019 Mazda 6. And another shot of it. The headlights, they look pretty nice. Here's a nice shot of the interior in the front. And what do we got here? Nice shot of the uh, rear view mirror. And we've got the gear stick, is what they call it. <laughs> the gear stick. How about the gear shifter? Uh, here's the sedan, but they're yet they're showing us the 2018 model year, which just basically really means that there's been no significant changes from last year's model to this year's model. Uh, this one's shown with available accessories like the sunroof deflector. You see that sunroof deflector over the top of your over this moon roof, so it deflects the air over the top. That's certainly an accessory. All right, let's just get through the rest of these photos real quick. Here's a nice shot of the uh, of the console, so they say, with the bird's eye view, rear view camera. Is that a standard feature? We will find that out for sure. Uh, there's a little wing in the back there. Here's your, uh, that's not the center console. These are the door controls, the windows, power locks, side mirrors, all that. Yeah, okay, looks pretty good. I think, uh, yeah, that's 21 of 21 slides. 
let's go check out the features. Okay, so here we are in the features section for the 2019 Mazda 6. They want to show us performance features, design features, safety features, and one other set of features that I can't remember now, but four different categories of features. So we'll start with the performance features. Obviously, they're going to start telling us about that 2.5 liter turbocharged engine and all that. So let's find out a little bit about that. So as we know, the 2019 Mazda 6 can be equipped with an available dynamic pressure turbocharged Skyactiv G 2.5T engine. That's the turbocharged engine. That is a long name for an engine. But yeah, if you're not if you get above the first two tiers, the Grand Touring trim is the first trim into this 2.5 liter engine. It makes 250 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. Uh, they say that it's that the, that engine Mazda says that the engine is uh, engineered to be ultra responsive at low RPMs, with power to spare when you're ready and, and it's off and running. So th this thing spools up pretty quick is basically what they're telling you that the power is going to be there. So it's like a low pressure turbo where it's just got a whole bunch of low end grunt, but it runs out of air up top. I mean we won't know that until you know unless we were able to drive it. But the numbers sound good. Seems nice. 250 horse. 310 pound-feet of torque probably makes its torque under 2,000 RPM. That's nice. We could actually find that torque thing out in the specs, and we will, after we go through the features, we will check the specs and see if we can find out when it makes its peak torque. At what RPM does it make its peak torque? Here, under, under that same performance category, they're telling us about the uh, Sky Active Vehicle Dynamics with G Vectoring Control Plus. Uh, this is a system that uh, adjust the power delivery when you're going around a corner shifting vehicle weight on initial turn in and all that basically this is going to help make you uh, make the car drive better with less chance of uh, driver error or the car crashing for some other reasons it slips on something all that there so that's pretty cool okay so what else do they want to tell us about this two and a half liter engine oh that it has cylinder deactivation this is a system that shuts down two of the engine's four cylinders in certain driving conditions, such as when cruising at constant speeds between 25 and 50 miles an hour, so not at highway speeds. Well, they didn't have a lot to say about performance, but I guess we learned everything we needed to know. There is that uprated engine that makes good power, and they've got and it's put and there's a pretty good suspension system underneath the car with uh, with uh, torque vectoring control. So now let's look at this design stuff. Let's find out some design features of the 2019 Mazda 6. So right up from the get-go, they're going to let us know that they use premium materials like Napa leather and Japanese Sinwood. The available signature trim, that's the top tier. That's two trim levels above where we are going to be, the Grand Touring, because above, above the Grand Touring is the Grand Touring Reserve. And then there's the signature. So the signature gets that Napa leather, the Japanese Sinwood. It was created. The, the signature series was created by Mazda Artesians to develop you in refined comfort. So this is their way of trying to make this car as upscale as possible. That's the signature uh, trim level. We're not going to obviously get into it because we're going to do a building price on the Grand Touring. But we now know that the signature is definitely above and beyond. Here's a nice shot of the uh, front. Uh, front seats of the uh, uh, 2019 Mazda 6 and the infotainment system and all that. It's kind of plain in there. There's not a lot necessarily going on, but we can find out some other stuff here. They say uh, human centricity and the sound of science. So let's see what they're going to say about these things here. So they're talking about the seats. So they say they design the seats for proper posture and even weight distribution, and that should result in less fatigue uh, in addition to that, the Mazda 6 also offers available ventilated front seats that wick away warm air to keep you and your front passenger cool. Uh, that's pretty nice as well. Here they're just letting us know that they have a lot of sound insulation and sound deadening materials to control uh, the isolation of the cabin to make it feel... Part of having a luxury car is that the cabin is quiet. You don't hear a lot of outside noise and squeaks and rattles and miscellaneous stuff. So if, the, if a manufacturer wants to make a car feel more luxurious, yeah, they can just make it more luxurious with features and things. But they can also do that by making it quieter. 
and make it a choir cabin in, in, in the interior and everything. And so they're letting us know that they have done that in this 2019 Mazda 6. Okay, let's talk about technology. Here they're showing the Apple i uh, I'm sorry, Apple CarPlay integration. Uh, you can uh, you can access the iPhone's maps, playlists, contacts, uh, a few compatible apps. They don't give you a bunch of compatible apps. Uh, Siri can also read uh, incoming text messages and allow you to reply without taking your hands off the wheel. Uh, if you have an Android phone, uh, integration is is available, and basically it's going to do all the same stuff as what you can do with Apple CarPlay. They're really the same, just two different uh, manufacturers of phones. Ha, I called it. Remember when we saw this slide that was showing the, uh, the bird's eye view camera over here on the infotainment, and I said that's probably not standard equipment? It's not. It says available. The available, which that's an option, that means. The 360 view monitor, that's what that's called. Additionally, parking sensors at the front and rear help detect proximity to obstacles. Right, so it also has those little uh, sensors on the front bumpers and the back bumpers. So when you start backing up to something before you hit, it starts beeping that little bell. So you know not to keep backing up and hitting something possibly. Well, we know right off the bat for that $29,500 that the base... Uh, or uh, as the, the MSRP for the uh, 2019 Mazda 6 Grand Touring, it comes with this Bose 11-speaker audio system, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about safety. Uh, every, every manufacturer's got some. Mazda calls theirs iActive Sense technology. Let's actually find out what all of that means, because uh, I don't. So we've got a series of slides here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got ten uh, features for safety that we can find out about, and it, we're not going to read on every one of them, but they at least let us know that this is, say, for instance, of course, high beam control, and it's standard. Standard means it's available on every trim level of Mazda 6. It doesn't matter. You can get the base model Sport. Guess what? It has this high beam control. Oh, this too is standard. The standard rear cross traffic alert. You get that. You're backing out at the store. Da 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 da. You might not be able to see these vehicles that are flying down the aisle. Uh, so yeah, you got to have that. Then uh, what do we got here? What's this one called? This one's the lane departure warning system. Uh, it is also standard. So so far there's a theme going on here. We're three for three on standard safety technologies. The I Active Sense is what they call it. If you want to make sure that you're reading all these paragraphs, then just simply pause the video. I'll wait for you. Um, otherwise, let's keep going. Uh, the Lane Keep Assist, it's also standard. Very cool. Uh, this is, Here we go now. Adaptive Front Lighting System. This is an available system that helps you see around corners because I guess as you turn, the lights turn in the direction of the steering wheel to a degree anyway. Uh, there's Blind Spot Monitoring. And uh, and that's standard. This uh, blind spot monitoring is standard. And then there is a available active driving display. All right, got it. Uh, there's an advanced smart city brake support, and this is standard for the 2019 Mazda 6. Uh, here and again, here they're talking about this smart brake support when traveling at speeds above 10 miles an hour. What's this one? Uh, this one's a uh, advanced smart city brake support. Got it. And this is for above 10 miles an hour. Either way, both of them are standard fare. So there's really not much um, there's really not much optional equipment. So you got the Mazda Mazda radar cruise control. That's also standard. Pretty cool. Uh, what about this last one here? Uh, now this is available. This is an optional system. The traffic sign recognition system is optional. Nonetheless, though, nonetheless, we've got about what seven out of ten or eight out of ten of these. Is standard equipment and that's not bad okay I told you that we were gonna you know at the very end before we did the building price the last thing we would do is check the specifications so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna check the specifications just for the grand touring because that's what we're focusing on we know it gets that two and a half liter engine 250 horse it gets a uh, 31 miles to the gallon on the highway uh, yeah let's see what else we can find out about this uh, vehicle here about this configuration this trim level Okay, there it is. All right, so, so, here it is. Look at this number right here. So we got torque. Oops. We got torque, and it makes 310 pounds. We're going to get to this gas thing, too. I know you can see that above there on how much horsepower it makes with 87 uh, 
octane gas and how much horsepower it makes with 93 octane gas. So it can consume both, but you're going to lose quite a bit of horsepower if you only use 87 octane gas. At any rate, one way or the other, it still makes apparently the same amount of torque. And that's 310, and it makes that torque at 2,000 RPM. Now, usually German sedans make it a little bit lower, somewhere around 1,700, 1,600, 1,800. But there's nothing wrong with 2,000 RPM. That's going to feel pretty much on off off idle. Pretty much off idle, you're going to have all that available uh, torque. So that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see if there's anything else notable that we want to find out here in the specs. Yeah, here's a little bit better notable on that fuel economy. Uh, that automatic transmission, which it only comes with, 23 miles to the gallon in the city, 31 miles to the gallon on the highway, 26 miles to the gallon mixed driving with uh, with this 2019 Mazda 6 Grand Touring. Looks like the Grand Touring trim level is loaded with safety features, all kinds of stuff. The hill launch assist, uh, fold-away brake pedal assembly, uh, distribution and brake assist, uh, lane departure warning. It's got all kinds of stuff, tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, you know, so for your $30,000, we're looking pretty good here. Uh, lots of interior uh, things here. What I really wanted to see, yeah, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I really want to see the interior dimensions, honestly, because we kind of already know what features this car comes with. All right. Um, so we've got a nice shot of uh, the cargo volume is 14.7 inches. Uh, I'm sorry, cubic feet. Uh, the hip room in the front is 53.5, and the rear is 53.5. Not bad. Shoulder room up front, 55.9, and in the back, 55.1. Headroom up front, 37.4, and it's only 37.1 in the back. So uh, the specs on this thing are looking pretty good. Uh, yeah. You know what? I think we're ready to do the build and price. Let's jump over there. Let's build and price our um, 2019 Mazda 6 Grand Touring. Um, I don't know how many uh, packages there's going to be, but we'll find out when we get over there. Okay, we've got our Grand Touring selected. Now we need to look at exterior colors. This exterior color is, Soul, is called Soul Red Crystal Metallic. It's a $600 upgrade. This color here is called Snowflake White Pearl. It's a $200 upgrade. Machine Gray Metallic, that's $300. Sonic Silver, Deep Crystal Blue, Jet Black. Let's go with Jet Black. Not because it's a no-cost option, but I just, I'd rather have the Jet Black. Let's do Jet Black. With the uh, with the black leather interior, uh, let's do that. That works for me. Uh, there are no packages available. I didn't think there were. That's why I kind of mentioned it. So the only thing we need to do really is just go through these little accessories, see if we want any of it. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the wheel locks. We'll take the wheel locks. We're gonna keep it simple. The door sill trim plates, those are nice. Um, I like the all weather floor mats. Those are nice. The little rear lip spoiler, that's cool. Oh, we can add Mazda navigation. What's that all about? Uh, navigation SD cards. Yeah, nah. You know what? With your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto, you can connect to your map. So, yeah, you don't need all that. Parking sensors. I think we already have it on ours. We don't need to worry about it. Uh, let's go to the summary. So, a lot of car. It's only $31,000 and change. So, I'm going to go ahead and say right off the bat, this is a lot of car for the money right off the bat. Uh, I would say I download the build summary, but there's really nothing to download. It's pretty simple. You basically choose your color. You basically choose your color, and you pay your money, and then you have one of these, basically. Uh, so, yeah, cool car, not to take away from it. I think the Mazda products are pretty nice. Uh, that engine's going to definitely be the way to go. You definitely want to get into at least the Grand Touring to have that 2.5 liter engine. Otherwise, life is going to be boring. All right, other than that, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I like this car. Uh, if you found this review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you.